I think we've seen some very important technology uh, that is aimed at improving safety for our children. And when we hear and see news reports uh, about accidents in, in relation to reversing, these are terribly distressing and it's great now that they're potentially avoidable. And so having uh, the leadership uh, that's brought us this new technology um, is exciting and hopefully uh, parents, grandparents, all drivers will actually be encouraged to take up the opportunity to improve the safety of our children. Lucky that we've had it first here in South East Queensland. Again, a state that is committed to innovation and a government that is very committed to supporting innovation and marketing so that we actually get jobs growth and economic growth in Queensland. And it's going to be taken around the world now? Again, uh, a great credit to, to our innovators, our engineers, our entrepreneurs here in Queensland. Yeah, um, and obviously a, a, a life savings, you know. Yeah. Again, one cannot put a price, as we all know, on the, the life or the health of our children. It is just the most important thing we can do is to ensure that our children actually uh, are as well protected as we can. And uh, we know that children are at risk wherever you actually have cars and children mixing. So schools are an obvious place, um, sporting events are another, shopping centres, but even in the driveway at home. Uh, so often parents get into the car, they last saw their child in the backyard, and of course the child has followed them out, and uh, they're reversing down the driveway. And uh, you know, you just don't, you're not aware, and this process, this technology, actually fully automates it, so you don't have any human judgment or human awareness is required uh, to actually activate this technology which is uh, the real lifesaver. And some money, fundraising money for the local school. Indeed, indeed and uh, so there are many reasons uh, that really everybody needs to consider uh, getting this technology uh, to save a life as well as do all the other important things that uh, are related to it. Yeah, the yeah, chorus is always good. Season, yes. I had immediate, um, immediate kind of relief, realising that yeah, the, the unfortunate deaths and injuries that we've had with the kids, especially with, with mums who were distracted by babies and, and backing down drivers, I had an immediate relief. On a personal note from you, what did, how did you feel when you first heard of the convention? And then after seeing it, what's your personal feeling? E enormous relief and excitement because, as we all know, the distress from injuring a child uh, is enormous. It's obviously very uh, dangerous for the child itself, but also uh, very damaging for the family, uh, great feelings of guilt, uh, remorse, and sometimes you just never get over it. So you just cannot put a price uh, on what the return from this technology will be. And the other issue um, is uh, we know that our population is ageing, uh, we have many older drivers and we know from the science that older people have difficulty multitasking. So if you're trying to steer and look in the rear view mirror at the same time and your uh, vision may be somewhat uh, limited. So we know that this will be particularly valuable uh, for older drivers as well. I'm just trying to extend that, that little bit which you came into, just from the person for other use uh, for what we do. Um, you, you, you're welcome to kind of relief. Um, what's, what's your personal, like, this is going to be great and you can't wait, that sort of personal um, opinions that you might have? Well, yeah, well, as a doctor uh, who practiced at the Prince Charles Hospital for 20 years and of course in other settings uh, long before that, um, I've seen in emergency departments the intense grief uh, when a child is injured or killed and, and that grief that extends across the entire family and uh, again that grief knows no bounds and so not only will this technology allow us to protect the child but it will actually protect the family, the extended family, the, avoid the grief to siblings um, and indeed save money for the whole of society as well because um, that sort of grief uh, not only is very costly in personal terms but also for the whole of society. So uh, as I say it is great now to see an opportunity to avoid all those uh, really great losses. We were talking to the company before and they said that they had pushes from New South Wales to consider making this technology mandatory. Do you think that's something we could ever see in Queensland? 
I think it's certainly worth considering, um, simply because it is a relatively simple technology, it's reliable, and uh, there is no way that you can do a cost-benefit analysis on this sort of issue because there's no price you can actually pay, uh, you know, in terms of the loss of a child uh, or the grief uh, for the driver and the family. So what would that mean? Would that mean perhaps subsidies on these products or is there any idea of how that would happen? Well, there are a whole lot of mandatory issues that we actually do for safety. And uh, again, I think that if it was a high volume issue, uh, the cost would come down quite considerably as well. And uh, we have all sorts of mandatory things in our cars already, of course, uh, nowadays. Safety belts, uh, airbags, uh, ABS braking. So in the big scheme of things, uh, this is a relatively small but absolutely vital uh, consideration. Might you consider pushing it the Premier a little bit on it? I think it would be a matter for policy across the board, um, but I would certainly have no difficulty advocating for it. I'd like to ask that as well as it before. Would you, we, after what you've seen, would you recommend this to people who are still in Let me tell you, I'd go one step further and I'm going to make inquiries as to how I can put it to my car immediately.